hello everyone uh, previously we seen the half and full ladder now we are moving towards the half and full subtractor uh, uh, previously we uh, seen the details of hat uh, half and full ladder this is some overview of that previous video and then we are moving towards the subtractor this is some index already we seen the adder which is classified in two types that is the half and full adder what is the addition of signals what is the half adder truth table k map some analyzing the results uh, circuit of a half adder full adder full adders uh, truth table uh, k map analyzing the results of uh, full adder and designing circuit up to this part uh, we already completed in previous video now we moving towards the next part that is the uh, half subtractor and full subtractor before that we know so what is the subtraction and we starting from the subtraction subtraction it is an uh, digital logic circuit in electronics that it implements some subtraction of numbers in number of computers and some other kind of processors subtractor are used not only in the arithmetic logic unit that is the elu but it also used in for the processing purpose as well as some calculating the address and increment and decrement operators and similar of the same as per the shown in adder but is here is the uh, subtraction method see the in addition method there are addition and the subtractor also classified in two types that is the half subtractor and full subtractor uh, let us look uh, subtraction of some single bits uh, already we seen in number system video here is 0 minus 0 that is the 0 but uh, main part will becomes here that is the i will check after that 1 minus 0 that is the one is the higher condition that is the directly it will be gets 1 1 minus 1 same terms that is the 0 but here is the 0 minus 1 the it will becomes 1 1 that is the 0 minus 1 1 with bar 1 okay here is in some image it will be shown that is the signals of some subtraction before going to the half subtractor and full subtractor i will play the one video we will check that this is the animation video and after that i will clear the concept of half subtractor and full subtractor with uh, analyzing results truth table came up and final equation of half subtractor and full subtractor and finally we see the difference of half subtractor and full subtractor before moving towards i uh, will play the one video we will see the that video hello everyone welcome to our channel online tutorial this video is on the topic half and full subtractor part 5 of digital logic course before further going on friends if you have yet not subscribed our channel do subscribe the red button given below and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out any video from our channel now let's move on to our course so here is our course outline the skills that we are going to cover in this video are about half and full subtractor and second we will know about the truth table and logic diagram for each one half subtractor it's an electronic circuit which needs two binary input and give two binary output it is used to perform two binary digit subtraction. Input variables are declared as subtrahend and minion bits. Output variables are declared as difference and borrow. So, like the previous video that we have made about half adder and full adder, similarly, there is a half subtractor and full subtractor, which performs the operation of subtraction in ALU unit as like half adder performs the operation of addition in ALU. So, it's also required two binary input and result in 
two binary output which are known as difference and border. The two input variables are declared as subtrahend and one is known as median and this performs the binary subtraction. So guys, here is the truth table and key map for half subtracted where difference is represented as capital D and borrow is represented as capital B. In the truth table you can see there are two inputs x and y with four cases as all we know that 2 to the power 2 equal to 4 where 2 is n that is number of input. So here are four cases with 0 0, 0 1, 1 0 and 1 1 and the basic subtraction operation we have to perform in this. For the two inputs in the first column you see they are 0 0. So 0 0 will give 0 result and there will be no borrow. In the second you see x is 0 and y is 1 where difference will be 1 but for the performing of 0 and 1 subtraction we have to carry, we have to take borrow from the unit. So here we have taken the borrow and we have given the 1. Now in the third column you see x is 1 and y is 0 so difference will be 1 and the last column both are 1 so result will be 0. On the basis of the truth table there are two k map for the difference and the borrow part. According to this truth table we have put the value of difference and borrow in the respective k map and we have drawn the conclusion that d has resulted in x or k and borrow has represented in AND gate. So D equal to X, X or Y and B equal to X complement with AND gate to Y. So this was our two table. Now let's move on to our logical diagram of half subtractor. So here is a logical diagram of half subtractor circuit on the basis of the K map. For the X or gate we have taken two inputs x and y drawn two inputs and from that we have drawn x or gate which give the result as d equal to x or y and second first we have complemented x value you can see here we have complemented the value of x and then after getting the result we have combined it with the help of and gate and we have got our result as b equal to x complement and gate y so this was our half subtractor, its K map and its logical diagram. Now let's move on to our full subtractor. Full subtractor is a combination of circuit that performs the arithmetic subtraction between input bits. It consists of three inputs and two outputs. Two of the input variables represent, represent the two significant bits. bits for the subtraction to be performed between them. The third input represent the carry from the previous lower significant position also called as previous borrow. The two outputs are necessary because the arithmetic subtraction of three binary produce always the two output and output variables are declared as subtrahend and minion respectively. Here is the truth table and k map for the full subtractor. You see there are three inputs x, y and z with difference and borrow as added. There are total 8 cases on the basis of three inputs. So as we have performed the subtraction operation for previous one, here also we have to do basic subtraction. First we will perform the subtraction in between x and y and then the resultant will be taken as a linear and then it will be subtracted with z. So first we will see x and y. Here for all the for in first column you see x, y, z all are 0. So there will be no difference and there will be no borrow. So all the value will be 0. In the second column you see x is 0, y is 0 but z is 1. So x and y result is 0 but z is 1. So we have to take a borrow. So there is 1 in the borrow and difference will be 1. Similarly for all the column we have done the same. In the last column, you see all the value are 1, 1 and 1. So you see first we will perform the difference operation between x and y. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Now 0 minus 1 with z it will perform. Then it needs 1 carry 
that carries transfer in the border part as a bulb and the last column seen z is 1 so we have written here 1 so this was our truth table and on the basis of this again we have drawn a k map for d part and b part as you can see here we have got the k map and the result was is d equal to x or with y which is x or with z and for the border part we have got the result as this that is x complement and get y or get y and z or x complement and with z so this is our k map and truth table of full subtractor here is our logical diagram on the basis of this k map you can see as for difference we have xor with y and that is xor with z so first we have drawn three inputs x y and z you see the diagram where x and y first we have drawn or get for this and the resultant is then combined with z and we have got the result as x or y or z then in for the borrow part now for borrow part you see first we have to complement the x and then we have to combine it with and get so we have complemented the value of x and we have got the x and with y then y z through and get and then x complement and get with z we have got similarly like x complement y now these are all combined these three equations is combined with the help of or get so first we have combined the first two equation that is x complement y with or get to y and get z and then the result is combined with or get again and the resultant is this so this is our full subtractor circuit diagram and key map with truth table hope you guys understood it i hope you uh, understand that video i will go through details um, half subtractor half subtractor it is a combinational circuit that performs subtraction of two binary bits it has two inputs that is a we calling minus end and subtract and two output that is the difference and a borrow that is the b out we use half subtractor to subtract the lsb of the subtract to the lsb of minus end when one binary number is subtracted from another, subtraction is done according to the rule of binary subtraction. And already we seen that. And the operations can be given in the details with the truth tables. Here also given it subtracts some two binary numbers A and B. To output the difference and borrow. And the signal represents and overflow into the next digit of multi-digit subtractions in the truth table of that uh, inputs that is a and b and output difference and value that is 0 minus 0 uh, mm. difference is 0 bar also 0. 0 minus 1 that is the minus sign hence in, it will be worked only the either 0 or 1 in binary numbers that is the it will be not mentioned here minus 1 the difference will be generatable and the borrow will be generated. 1 minus 0 it is the straightforward that is difference 1 0 1 minus 1 that is 0 0 that is tractable. Now it is the inputs. Now we have to draw the k map for the difference and borrow. The, this is the borrow purpose and difference purpose. In borrow only one output will be generated. In difference there are two outputs. In, Solving the truth table, that is the A and B inputs, that is the A and B, that is the two variable came up, means four cells, that is the 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, for borrow purpose, only one that is in horizontally one will be present, means that is the B, and vertically that is 0, means A bar, means A bar B. Okay, and here that one purpose. 
in horizontally there is the b is b and vertically zero there is the a bar means a bar b and horizontally there is b bar and vertically a means a b bar means already we know the rule of that x or a bar b plus a b bar that is the uh, boolean law that is the a x or b here we take under a x or b using of that uh, two equations bar on difference we have to need to draw the logical diagram and before that we uh, see the analyzing results there are number of inputs two number of outputs two inputs are there as uh, a and b and outputs are difference and borrow in that uh, difference can be obtained by using x or it already we seen and borrow can be taken by the n not and and logic it here is the some designing circuits of that <coughs> that is the difference purpose a and b x or that is a difference and a with that is a not a gate connected with and gate input and b directly connected and gate we gets the bar now full subtractor full subtractor is also belongs to the class of uh, combinational circuit and he is used to perform subtraction of two binary bits the half subtractor can only be used for subtraction of lsb bits but if uh, there are occurs in case of borrow during subtraction of lsb bits then it can have affected over subtraction in higher columns thus we have a total number of three inputs that is the two original bits and third is considering borrow output sorry borrow input and two output that is the difference and borrow output the binary numbers and accounts for all these borrowed in as well as out the main difference between half subtractor and full subtractor is that full subtractor has three inputs and two outputs one bit full subtractor subtracts three one bit numbers that is the a b and borrow input and that is output that is difference and borrow this is the truth table of that uh, full subtractor inputs a b borrow input 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 hence borrow output 0 difference 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 that borrow will be generated when difference also 0 1 uh, and 1 minus 0 borrow generated one difference 0 here straight forward 0 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 that is the borrow generated but difference is 0 here is the straight forward difference is 1 remaining borrow is 0 here also 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 that is 0 0 1 minus 1 here is 0 0 minus again here is 0 here is the three numbers of one that is the one minus one that is the borrow again one minus one then again borrow then borrow will be generated one and difference also yeah. mm-hmm. we putting on kmm that is the there are eight numbers hence uh, we required a three variable kmm means eight cells that is the input a and b c that is the a zero one b c is the putting here Eight cells. The total of the output will be generated when we put in. We are pairing that all the groups. That is the borrow related. In differences, no chance for the pairing. Hence, we prepare single groups. The analyzing results. There are three inputs and two outputs. There are inputs that is the A, B, and borrow input, and outputs that is the difference and borrow. Output. And this is the designing circuit from the using of uh, truth table and kmm we gets the equation and we draw the diagram of difference and borrow and now going towards the last point that is the difference between a half adder and full adder circuit already seen in previously the main difference between the half and full adder that is the three inputs and two outputs same in subtraction also Two inputs and three uh, inputs for the subtraction problem. 
there first two inputs for our a and b and the third input is the input carry same in full subtraction that is the uh, first two inputs are inputs and third that is the uh, borrow input and the output carry is designed in the subtraction that is the borrow and difference will be generated and the difference is the uh, related to half adder and full adder it is opposite with subtraction in, in subtraction there is the difference and borrow here is the carry and sum okay we will stop here uh, we will complete here the subtraction half subtraction and full subtraction today we seen the uh, details of half subtraction uh, results came up true table uh, came up and using of that equation it got the logical diagram thank you